name is Evelyn Bull, Evelyn Con Nee Bull. It was a very uh, very nice way to grow up in a small town because you could go roller skating on the streets and you ride your bike anywhere and also we had the outdoor skating rinks and um, uh, lots of activities to do with uh, the church also I belong to the Port Hope Girls Choir which was just lovely to grow up. My father's family originally from Baltimore and they moved to Port Hope because he worked for work and he worked for Stephen and Atlant <coughs> as a car salesman. Mm -hmm. It was located where the uh, hydro, the old hydro. Well, <coughs> it had all the the stores that available, clothing stores, shoe stores, anything that you didn't have to leave Port Hope. And at that time, not many people had cars anyway to, yeah. to travel. They were very friendly, and you got to know them personally if you went to the dress shop or the shoe store. They, all, they knew you by name, which is a nice thing. What has changed is the, there's no, <clears throat> the housing has enlarged since I left. Mm -hmm. Plus, all the factories that were here when I grew up are all gone, except Kamiko, which was originally El Dorado. Mm -hmm. I was very upset about the post office, absolutely. It was a beautiful building. I used to ride my bike down to pick up the mail because it wasn't delivered. Yeah. We had box 27. Well, I thought it was for the best. It looks very nice. The uh, fire hall had a lot of old memories because we practiced, the Port Hope Girls Choir practiced there, but um, it was too close to the water mm -hmm. and it was really ready for the demolition. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the, I think the one growing up young was Turks restaurant. After high, uh, school, we'd all run down and get this, uh, these um, sodas, uh, Sundays, which was called Peggy Ann. And that was a famous of Ray Turks. <laughs> and there was also Heinz, Rest, Heinz um, Pharmacy, which is now Watson's Drugstore. Mm -hmm. They had a soda bar, too, as well. But most of the high school kids went to Turks. Well, I love Margo's because every week when I started to work, uh, Helen Fulford, Helen Roach was there, and she was later Helen Phillip, and she if she saw a dress or anything that uh, she thought would suit me, she always let me know, which was fun. Mr. Thompson, who is Thompson's shoe store, I bought <coughs> three pieces of luggage, McBride. But I couldn't, I couldn't afford to buy it all at once, so I, every two weeks I went in and I got, bought one piece, but he saved it all for me. I said, then I'll bring it. But when I went to pick it up, he had put my initials on every, in gold on every piece. I was thrilled. Well, <laughs> every Saturday we'd go down to the theater, and it was always a western or something. It was 25 cents. And this particular Saturday, my mother insisted I take my young sister, Maxine. So off we went. We got into the theater, and she got so scared, she had to go home. And I dragged her up all the way up by Augusta to Sherburn Street. I was so annoyed. <laughs> I missed my movie. Well, I, I grew up with Anita at high school, became very good friends. And after Dr. Pochon died and Anita was away at university and I was working here in Port Hope, <clears throat> often went over and stayed with Mrs. Pochon, Madame Pochon, uh, because she didn't like to be alone. And then after I got married, uh, my sister Maxine did the same. So they were very, very good to our family.